this is it. This is it. You into dust. No, you won't, mate. <laughs> Do it. Yes. Get the fuck in. Woo! The <laughs> red <Rick> flare. <laughs> Boom! Oh, that knocked us out, didn't it? All right. Oh, here he comes. Is he going to finish us off? I won't die as long as you still live. I won't Too bad. die. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were, as we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Okay. The Conflict world's will gone bring soft. conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? <laughs> you lie. Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. Oh, all right. You enjoy all the killing. That's oh. why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> with self-defense on his face when you did it it was filled with the joy of battle you're wrong there's a killer inside you you don't have to deny it we were created to be that way created well are we going to find out about how we were born in a test tube in a lab les enfants terribles the terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. In the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. Test so you, they babe. created us from his <laughs> cells. With a combination we of did the boss Serini. We did it. Cloning, and the super baby method. Super baby, baby method? <laughs> they fertilized an egg with one of father's cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Clone babies. Then they babies. transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. 
So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. Oh, they used me more. as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You've told us this. You took everything from me before I was even born. Oh no. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. Ooh. With the completion Weezer, of the human genome project, you know? the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. The mysteries of humanity. Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldiers. All motion video. For yeah. everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation. I think we've figured out why this is two discs. That's how they became <laughs> the genome soldiers. Like back in the day, That's this right. was fucking insane. The soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. Like 98, I think this came out. 95, maybe? Genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! Yeah, this and I think um, Command and Conquer Red Alert were the only ones the that had like War. FM, like full video. The military and it was insane. Injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. Oh, really? First, they tried to say it was post traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti sarin injections, they were all just a cover up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so called Gulf War babies that have been reported Gulf by Gulf War, War babies are. Yes. <laughs> They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. Oh, no. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Oh, hello. They're going into Nature science now. Real science. Asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? Selfish genes! You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose break a of passing device. on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. Ooh. In order to break the curse beyond. of my heritage. He can waffle, can't he? Hideo Kojima, you love a cutscene. You love a cutscene. And to do that, first, I will kill you. I believe if you put all of the cutscenes, like, end to end, just as a movie... Look behind you! Like, it's, 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 it's like multiple sure. hours. Like, she was multiple hours. hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. 
falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, Snake. we have no past, no Snake. future, and even if we did, it would be two Snake. hours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Big Boss. Boss. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Oh, all right, we will. Are they going to nuke us? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. They're going to carpet bombers. The Secretary bombers. of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. Uh. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that. B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating Literally me. Literally using fire to fight fire, yes. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. President ordered this? The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering <laughs> everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. DARPA, he DARPA. was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. Right, we should probably run. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. 
Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Well, fuck. If you win, you might still be able to save her. We have three minutes. Come on. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. The timer is ticking. Can we get on with this? Oh my god, there's no way. Have at you, snake. Oh shit. Okay, so I can't choke him out. Oh shit. Oh, pop, pop. Come on, you motherfucker. Bastard, I missed with the punches. Oh, fuck off. It's going to blow. I mean, I can't do this. I can't do this. But... What's wrong, oh. Snake? Wrong is uh, you're a con. What's oh, fuck wrong, off. Snake? Come on, bitch. Fuck off. Fuck off. Shut up! I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose this. Okay, he's down. Oh fuck! He just kicked me in the fucking face. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I'm dead. Can I restart this battle? Can I restart this battle? Please let, please let me continue from this. If it starts from the start of the fucking, okay, good. Have at you, snake. Come on, bitch. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. Right, good. Got a little hit in there. The snack on snack. Oh, I got lucky there. Kicked him. I need to get really good shots in here. Out of shit. Kicked him. What am I doing, really? Right, easy analog stick, it's a bit easier. I kicked him. Why is he all of a sudden being so fucking sneaky and hard to hit? What's wrong, snake? Nice shot! Ah, oh, you can't. What's wrong, snake? I kicked him there, that's good. Oh. It's going to blow! He's got me here, he's got me. Oh, that's good, that's good. I know it's gonna fucking blow. Oh, What's fuck wrong, oh. snake? Oh, right, yeah, I'm ahead by a little bit, but oh, he's gonna intensify his attacks in a sec. He's gonna fucking get me there. What's wrong, snake? Oh, he's facing the wrong fucking way there. 
There we go. I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, you can't. Right, he's got a, he's got a fucking charge attack. Come on, bitch. Alright, he's off. Get out of it. I'm gonna die. You're out of time. Ah! You're out of time. Ah! Oh, will this fucking game just end, please? <laughs> ah! Fuck's sake! I've done the final boss. This is fucking bullshit. Have at you, Snake. Oh, you absolute cunt. The kick didn't fucking work. Oh, oh shut the fuck up, Liquid, you fucking bitch. Fucking Liquid, fucking shot. Diarrhea pile of fucking cunt. Oh shit, I'm down. I accidentally fell. It's very dark here, I can fucking barely see anything. Nice shot! It's going to blow! You're gonna fucking blow your load after you see how fucking much I kick your ass, you fucking liquid bitch. Come on then, bitch. But you fucking know. There we go. Oh, I forget you put that. You're talking in gibberish, I'm like fucking annoyed at him. Oh! Basically, at the second. Fuck oh, off! Oh, I was locked into a. Oh, I'm out of fucking help, is what I'm out of. One more hit and I'm dead, and I'm not gonna avoid it. The salt levels are definitely rising. Yes, they are. Uh, fucking hell. Fucking fist this game into fucking several fucking pieces. Oh, get back here, you little fucking con. Are you serious? I was looking directly at. Oh, come on, kid. What's wrong, Snake? Oh, this is fucking AIDS. This whole fucking fist fight is a fucking AIDS farm. Fuck's sake. Hey Tigru, how's it going man? Welcome in. How is the Tigru today? Couple of good attacks in there, that's nice. 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 Oh God. Missed that one. Quite badly, actually. Nice, got a kick in there. Oh shit. What's wrong, snake? Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, just got the kick in. Nice. Nice got kick in. Oh, he just teleports to you. That's fucking bullshit, that attack. Fuck you. Come on then. Oh, how is he so. That's a legit attack. Here we go. When you can Right, he's invincible for a, for a second there. Right, come on then, you fucking liquid bitch. Oh, 
Got him. Nice. Snap! Great Sunday. You have accomplished nothing. <laughs> That's the right kind of right kind of day. Right, he's just disappeared into blackness. The time is up. Meryl. We need to get the fuck out of here. We're going to probably ca uh, ca be carrying Meryl with us. Meryl? Snake, is that you? Yes, it is. Snake, oh, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Let's get the fuck out of here, Meryl, guys. Are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, it must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. <laughs> I was well, let me too. stop you right there, Fraggle. Just like Watch you. this. <laughs> woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. Hold my beer. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope... <laughs> kept Thank me you, alive. Snake. Hold my snake. Snake. Oh, <laughs> I wanted... Hang on a second. ...to see you again. Meryl. Ring a ding ding. You have five minutes to get the fuck out of there. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I it's all for nothing, news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. Death is malleable There's a parking garage and, and right next solid. to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through <clears throat> regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, so. I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. I missed where, where he said to go. All I heard was... Oh, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks. I believe Nick. in you! All I heard was east, so we need to go east. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? He's... He's... Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Can we go touch a pad? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Right, let's fucking run. Very, very dark. Meryl. Oh, ho, ho. my hero. Meryl. All right, we need to get the fuck out of here. Started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not going to have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> right, fucking like it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. 
Hurry up. We go far enough west, you'll be you'll be east. <laughs> Hurry! Swoon. Oh she just got her arms are exposed, but she's got a uh, good snake. Ooh, looking good. Right, so is she leading the way? If she does, that will be very handy for me. Right, we need to GTFO. We have a time limit. Hurry! This way. I'll drive. Oh, nice. Damn, a surveillance camera. Damn, no keys. <laughs> I got it, Snake. Jump in. We just need to fucking leg it, don't we? I'd like to jump in. Where, where the fuck are you? Snake, hurry, get in. I can't. I, I need to fucking kill these, and I haven't got any fucking guns. Oh, here we go. Right, we're in. Go. Fire that Snake, hold on. Oh my god, right. Uh, I probably should have gotten that ration before. I don't have any. Alright. We've got a gun. We're gonna have to be really fucking good. Uh-oh, Snake. Check Here they come. <clears throat> we'll never make it. Snake, clear a path. I'm fucking trying, mate. Look, this is dip this is a lot more fucking difficult than you you, you think it is. Half okay, clear. Snake. Go. go! I have no health. Fuck me. I have no HP. If I get hit once, I'm dead. Deader than dead. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, uh, I haven't got any HP to take any damage. Sorry. Can't help you. I'm dead. Uh, I hope it gives me more HP for the continue. There's just no way I'm doing this otherwise. Uh Hurry! Right, there's the ration underneath the stairs. Let's fucking get it. I'll drive. <laughs> Damn, a surveillance camera. Damn, no keys. <laughs> I'm jumping, I'm jumping, let's go. Right, we're going. Just just fucking drive quick. Right, we've got health. Good. We did that a little bit better. Got me I've got me ration. In fact, I'm gonna have the ration equipped. Because if I do drop, then I have health. Right, I'm gonna go right first, then left. Got to block barrels. Barrels. Thank you very much, TV. Here they come. Come on. Fucking barrel. Fucking barrel. Nice. That's that gone. I'm working on it. Right, we got that one. Good. Okay, let's go. Fucking drive, bitch. Right, she's going to pull up again this side, so I've got gun trained already. I think there's two on the left, so I'll probably just you know, pull the gun left a bit. Looks like, come on. We'll never make it. Oh, come on! I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting at here, but... Oh, come on. 
really. How much health do these fuckers have? There's one down. He's down. Oh, fuck you so much. Right, he's down. Good. They're using the fuck out of that ration, but now I've got nothing. Oh, are we actually going to be able to do this? There's people behind us. Shit. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Liquid. In there. Very difficult to see where I'm pointing the gun, to be honest. I wish I could do this in first person. Though. That would be fucking good for me. Just fucking get me there. One more shot and I'm dead. And I don't have anything I can do about it either. For fuck's sake! This is fucking difficult. Oh, man. Will this game fucking end, please? You suck, you jackass. I do fucking suck. I just want this game to be over. Hurry! Right, it's given me, it's taken mercy, I think, and giving me, giving me full life. Well, I think I had full life anyway. I'll drive. Damn, a surveillance camera. Damn, no keys. Emotional damage. Keys. Ooh, there's a fucking ration there. I didn't see that. Is there a Russian down here as well? Jump in. No. Alright. Oh, fuck you. Right, I'm in. I'm in. Come on. Fire that shield up with your weapon by Oh my god! Snake. Right, good. Alright, drive over the fucking gun. There you go. <laughs> you shoot, I'll drive. <laughs> yeah, because I'm fucking shit at this for some reason. For some reason, big, I'm shit at my games, generally. I accept this, this is fine. Come on, there's one down. We'll never make it. Snake, clear a path. Done it. Okay, Snake, let's go! Drive! Drive! It's like they purposely set you up to take that damage in that scene. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. We're not out of the woods yet. Here they come. We'll never make it! But he's Snake, got one down. Yes! We can have it! Lovely stuff! It's not yet, Snake! Not yet, Snake! It's not over yet! It's not over yet! Liquid! Liquid shit! Motherfucker! 
Motherfucker! Just fucking wagging the gun backwards and forth now. I want my gun back and forth. I want my gun back and forth. Man, he only pops his head up to there you go. When he crashes or wants to shoot me. Hitting. I actually don't know what, where my gun's going. It's, it's definitely not fucking hitting. I can't see where my gun is, to be honest. Where is it? Ah, oh, I've got it that time. Good. Well, let's use a ration. Thank you. I actually can't hit him. What is wrong with my gun? I got him down, I don't think. Right, there you go. I hit him that time. Last ration. I need... I need to get more help. Please, please, please let this be the end. Please let this be the end. Yeah, I'm not very good at that section. It's very difficult to tell where the gun's shooting. Oh, please let this be the end. We have to fight um, Liquid again. Magic guns. No magic Girl. guns. I definitely know okay? no water aim. Yeah, just a little shook up. Marvel shook up. Oh. Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? He fucked off. I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. No, he's not. Let's be honest, he's not. Uh-oh. Snake! Snake! He's having the old heart attack. Damn. He's fucked now, lads. He's fucked now. If he's dead, that means that you could also Don't die. Say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Oh, hello. Colonel. Are you can hear me? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Oh! Early retirement. Oh! Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. 
It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. No, he was. alone? No, he was. What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, <laughs> the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank the you, little Snake. little smile, uh... Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's oh, a I... snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Army of also, <laughs> there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Oh no. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. And Maybe. the exosuit that he chased with, obviously. But yeah. Maybe now he's finally grateful, found grateful. some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Hmm. Oh, chicka wow wow. <laughs> Yeah, incoming Each love scene is with Meryl. With their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was. Next game. <laughs> who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, 
You can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2 will be coming. I know the first, like, hour is just solid cutscene. <laughs> I remember that. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other. Teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. Okay, how did you see that life. snowmobile on satellite imagery? It was in a Thank cave. Oh, bitch! <laughs> Look, I found this. What is it? Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? It's, oh, it's the bandana. Or the first time we met. A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. <laughs> that's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? I mean... Maybe it's time Hideo for loves, someone else. Hideo loves a cutscene. He someone loves them. Else? Yeah. Someone like you. Oh. Maybe that's the real way to live. Oh. Emotion. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I did not know that. <laughs> I think it's time we look for a new path in life. Ah, oh. Snake's name is Dave. No, we'll find it. What are Damn. those? Damn, caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring Moose. brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, <laughs> What's sea, that? Dinner. The caribou, <laughs> and most of all, you. My, what my favorite place to eat in Liverpool, I well, or oh, get takeaway from, like is called life. Caribou Poutine, and Come oh, on. it's so fucking good. Let's enjoy life. Poutine is fucking brilliant. Best thing Canada ever put out, apart from the music. Devon Townsend Project. I've got Devon Townsend Project t-shirt just over there. Which I will have to take upstairs. Yeah, had it before. Nice. Right, in the 1980s, there was more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world. The total destructive power amounted to 1 million times that of the Hiroshima A-bomb. Atom bomb. In January 1983, START II was signed, and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to 3,000. To 3,000. There you go. However, in, as of 1988, there still exists 26,000 nuclear warheads. Damn! That's a lot of warheads. So this game's an anti-nuke game, basically.
Is this credits? <laughs> now, <clears throat> here is the question. Do you ladies and gents want an hour of, um, an hour and a half of, like, Metal Gear Solid 2? Or should I go away, walk the doggos, and prepare for mechs later on? There will be mechs later on regardless, but, uh, you want me to go straight into Metal Gear Solid 2? I think we can. It does help that I'm actually um, running this on the PS2. <laughs> Yeah. So, what do I think of Metal Gear Solid 1? Fantastic game. Amazing. Loads of cutscenes. Too many cutscenes. <laughs> um, there are sections of the game which were frustrating as fuck. I believe that in the remastered version, the sort of HD update thing, I mean, they did like a, a, another version of it for the PS3, I think. Um. I think they made it a lot easier, probably because, like, that Metal Gear Rex fight was insane. Oh my god, that, that nearly killed me. I think that nearly killed me. Uh, but we did it. Thank fuck for that. Oh, little polar bear. Look at him there. Worst game ever. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my words yesterday were slightly, slightly marred by anger. Now we've done it, and I'm saying again, I feel like I can say, all in all, definitely a very good game. Oh. <laughs> Lovely little cutscene this at the end. I mean, all of the full, all of the, uh... yeah, I was a little bit tilted yesterday. I was a little bit. The salt levels reached critical mass. I was so close to rage quitting the game and never playing it again. Hey, there you go. I'll get solid. Very nice. <clears throat> so, I got a bandana at the end there. there were, there's two endings, technically. Um, I don't know if that was the good or the bad one. I think it was a good one because we, we had a happy ending. Um, if you do the game again, you get the bandana. And that gives you infinite ammunition. Infinite ammo. So you can just go... Ah, da, 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 and just fucking wreck bitches. Which is good. Anywho. That's been my playthrough of Metal Gear Solid. I hope you enjoyed it. 